Hello guys, welcome back to our Shike no Fiki game mode. This is episode 11. In today's episode, we have the German Cup semi final or the Deutsche Pokal semi final against Köln. Big one if you can win. I think the other one is um, Leverkusen against Augsburg. So we will have probably a game against Leverkusen. I think at least they should be able to win against Leverkusen. So if we can win this away game, another away game, I think it's the third away game we now got in the German Cup. We played away against Bayern, Dortmund and now against Köln. And of course the final will also not be a home game. So not even one home game. Be really disappointing to be honest. Then we have a game against Leverkusen. I don't, I think you know why it's so important to win this one. If you talk about the team, we have two problems. Um, Chupomoting and Nastasic both played in the last episode, in the last game, so both are really low on stamina. So Aftijai or maybe Aogo, who is a CDM, but he can kind of play as a center mid because he's, he is not has not amazing pace, but he is okay. Broken not tripling, crossing, but I think I will use Aftijai. I think that is the... Yeah, the option that most uh, makes the most sense. So after Jai will be our left winger today. Not really the best option, but I can't really change it. And uh, next up Nastasic. That's interesting. I could play him. I could use Nuhivides, but I want to use Nuhivides, of course, in the Bundesliga game against Leverkusen. So I was really unsure what to do, and I think um, I will use. Nastasic for now and might sub on Hövedes. This is what I think I will do. So this is the team who will play today's game. This guy, Marco Höger. The last game we played against Köln, I think it was 3-2. And then in the last moment, either 2-1 for us or 3-2, but I think it was 3-2. And then in the last moment, Höger had a huge chance to equalize for Köln. He hit the post. He is on my shortlist, I really want to get him back and I'm very sure that in the next transfer window, so in this summer transfer window, I will get him back because he was always my favorite player. Even though I like him, I really don't want to give him any chance to score a goal for Köln and against us today. Kovalenko, who is helping? Nobody yet. So I will cross it in, maybe to Schöpf, who is not doing anything. Don't know what actually happened there. Somehow Schöpf got to that ball, but I don't know if he tried I actually I, it was too quick for my uh, for me I don't know what happened there first good chance for us Kovalenko maybe with another cross for Chef again really good Chef with the header I think it was Chef maybe it was Hindel I'm not 100% sure second chance for us in this game Höger's injured no please not Höger anybody else in Höger Hindel I don't know what he's doing anybody helping maybe some guy is trying the pass can he pass it to this one maybe back Really nice passing, Aftijai has the chance, Donny's Aftijai, good finish. I think it's close to half time, ah, no, actually 10 minutes before half time. Oh, Goretzka with pace, a uh, space, don't know if that, yeah, it got deflected, good chance there. We are definitely the better team, at the start Köln was better, but now definitely we are better having the chances, I think that was our fourth chance, and one of them we were able to take. Corner first was good. The second one uh, somehow again they can't, uh, they can get the ball out. But we still got the chance. So wait, Kovalenko, can you get around this guy? Maybe cross it in. Oh, they, okay. Wow, that is. Why would you do this, Constant, uh, Konstantin Rausch? Like Kovalenko has no chance to cross it in. Can't do. Uh, can't do anything. Then he is even with the back to the goal. So his only option is to go away from the box and then this like ah this is so stupid i will give it to kovalenko i think if there's nobody better yeah there is one guy who's better um Koke, but no kovalenko will take it i will go top right i think this is this is the best thing i can do here so top right with a lot of power maybe wow this was a really bad shot to be honest but hey two no well now the, I think this is done. I, I think we are going through. 2-0. Normally we are not giving away a 2-0 lead. Oh, oh, Höger. Höger with a chance to score. Well, he was injured, but he was able to stay on. I told you I don't want him to score. And of course, the guy who scores against us and gets Köln back into the game has to be Marco Höger. Ah, really? Ah, I mean, I'm happy for him, but... Of course he had to score against me. 
Oh no. Oh wow, good. Uh, thank you, whoever you are. I don't even know something like Guasse or I. I don't really know that guy. Um, huge chance. He could. He had so much space and so much time. He could have just controlled the ball and do, did so many things. So I'm. I'm. We are really lucky, to be honest, that he just tried to head it with no power straight to Fairman. One last corner. Three minutes extra time should be done. This is the last corner. This is nothing. We should blow the whistle. He does. We go into the German Cup final beating Köln. We got just over 2 million euros for that, which is not bad. My match rating is at 74. Also not bad and now the big one. We can see Bayern played already. I told you, at, or at least I'm very sure that Bayern is gonna win the league. I mean, if Leverkusen wins this one, six points, nine points to get, but it's really unrealistic because if Bayern's just winning one more game, they 100% won the league. So it, they will win the league. So now the fight for second. Dortmund won their game. So if we don't win today, I think we can't get second anymore. On the other side, Augsburg played and they lost. That means if we win today, there would be seven points to Augsburg. So if we win, fourth place would be sure and we definitely have a huge chance to even get second or third. If we draw, then it's nothing really changed. And if we lose, then we will only fight for fourth place. So it's a big one for Leverkusen and for us. Leverkusen does not want to lose and we don't want to lose either. I would, I mean a draw wouldn't help us. So for us, it's, it's just try to win the game. Mm, okay. He will get to that. What the cross from Chanalulu. First touch cross inside. Perfect for Folland with the header. Huge save by Ralle. So already a huge chance and now we have an injured player. Baba is injured. We don't have a left back on the PM on the on the bench, so I have to use Koke. And I want to keep Kreiser at the right, so Koke will be our left back. He can't really play there, but I don't have a different option. Not really what I want to, but I mean the left back has to defend the right mid and the right mid is Kampel and Kampel is not really fast either, so I think it's not a huge problem. Hopefully he's not injured for a long time. Because if so, then it just means he will miss the remaining games because there isn't. There are just like four weeks, four more weeks of football. So if he will miss a month or more, he will not play any game in this season anymore, which would be a problem. Well, they are really strong, you know. Leverkusen is playing so strong. I mean, they are just 50 minutes played, but at the moment they're playing amazing. But now the space for Kunja Planke, his comeback. Can he score on his comeback? Real guys tripling. And Kunja Planke shows why I missed him so much, why I didn't miss them that much like for example because first time he has some space, perfect tripling, scored. This is Konya Planka, goal number 19 for Konya Planka, I mean this guy is just amazing. Sam, space for Koke, what can Koke do? I will try to cross it in, cross is good and Bolo with space, should have scored this, definitely should have scored that huge chance to score the turner for Bolo there. Too much space, uh, I mean, it was a good try to get it um, to the short post. But in the end it wasn't even that close, so uh, should have been better. Sam, Sam against his former team, against his former club, too fast. Kony Planka on the other side, easy pass, goal. Kony Planka with two goals in 27 minutes, Imo of course in this time he just didn't have to do a lot, except of just make the one. Sam with an amazing assist against his former club. Now he scored the second, Kony Planka. And Bolo had some chances for sure to at least get on a level with Kony Planka. But he missed a lot of chances against Leipzig. And now the next game, Kony Planka just needs 27 minutes to score two. And he, I mean, we still have a lot of time. He might score a third or whatever. So I think, I think Konya Planka will be our, our definitely best goal scorer at the end of the season. The, the only question is if anybody, for example, Folland is doing amazing as well. I think Folland is second place, so this is a really interesting game in many aspects as well on the um, score list because yeah, now I think 20 goals for Konya Planka and I think Folland was on 17. Oh, okay. I didn't expect this cross to be good, but it was actually amazing. Good save by Ralle. We are almost at half time. 
You know, I even just wanted to say, I don't know what Rale did there, I even just wanted to say at the recent um, episodes, last two, three episodes, every time I played the game, we were winning two and a half time. Rale, man. Two amazing crosses by Shonadolu, I mean, he is an amazing corner taker. And who else than Kevin Folland? So these two are actually really fighting against each other today. Kunal Planka, the best goal scorer from our team and the best in the league, against Folland, the best from Leverkusen and the be uh, second best in the league. And boom, what can we see? Two goals for Planka and one for the other guy. For Folland, Kuk, uh, close one, almost the third before half time. Well, this game is actually amazing. I, I don't know if, wow, two chance both and three goals, not bad. I don't know. The last time I had so much fun playing a game in FIFA, I mean I have a lot of fun. But the games against Leverkusen are always the, always the most fun. I don't know why, but they are always the most fun. Oh, very nice play, really nice play. Just two few passes and we are able to have a chance maybe. Maya is going around. Maya with the shot. It's lucky. It is extremely lucky, I know. An amazing attack for sure. A good shot as well from Maya. I think it would have gone in. And of course then, I mean, the shot was good, but of course the deflection was even better because the reflection was just perfect. So the power, just perfect. This is actually more exciting than I thought. I, would, I thought we might just fight for fourth place against Augsburg and that's it. And now we actually have a huge chance to even get second. And Forland has the chance, thank god Ralle saves this. So it could have been more ex uh, really exciting the last like two three minutes of this game. And of course Forland would have scored two as well. So it w the distance between these two would have gone down to one. Leogus with another huge chance. But again missing. Last seconds. We are winning this game for sure now. The question is just if somebody can score still a goal. Should not be the case. But Leokun is trying to score one. They have another chance, Folland, uh, not Folland, Bender, I think. Ralle with a save. Five to one corners. That shows that Leokun, especially in the second half, was definitely dominating. But hey, even the second half, we were winning 1 0, even though we didn't do anything. And Leokun had way more chances, better chances. In the end, we even won the second half. Ref should blow the whistle. Interesting one, but it's. Over three amazing points. Rabba unfortunately is injured for three months um, with a broken ankle. Damn it! I mean, it's not it, for me. It's not a difference if he will be injured for one or for two or three months. But that means he will not play for Schalke yet anymore. So not in the season. He will return to Chelsea, and then of course I will try to sign him if possible. I, I would really like to get him. If not possible, then this was actually his last game for Schalke and it did not end in a good way. After 31 games and therefore 3 games before the end, this is the league table. Gladbach is 5th place, 6 points behind us and we have, I think, the way better goal difference. Yes, they have 16, we have 27. So I think top 4 is 100% definitely done now. We will get in the top 4. Bayern definitely will win the league. Now there is a big fight for um, second place. Let's have a look at the goal defense. Yes, we still have a better goal defense than Dortmund. So if one of them is just dropping down points once, we would actually get into, uh, we would get in front of them. Um, my goal is to just get third. I don't really see a huge difference of uh, getting second or third. If I can choose it, I would. I just want to get in front of Dortmund. This is my big goal. I, if I if I get second and like Dortmund third or if I get third and Dortmund fourth, that's not really important for me. Naldo is still 82 rated, I mean he is going down a lot now. My jumping minus 8, strength minus 9, sprint speed minus 8, he's out of his 76 sprint speed, now it's 68. So he's going down a lot, so definitely starting next season, he will just be my third or even fourth, I think even fourth choice. Um, center back because even Niklas Stark is in Bruin, so I think next season he will not really play a lot of games more even just if I simulate with my second choice squad because that uh, his stats are really going down now I mean he's 34 I think even he's not re um, going down uh, he's not uh, retiring uh, he, oh, okay he's not retiring after this season but I think after the next season he will retire 
I think Impudo just gone up again himself. 81 rated in the age of 20. Let's look at the stats. 87 acceleration, 91 spin speed, 81 agility, 86 sp uh, strength, 84 stamina, 83 attack position, 85 ball control, 84 tripling, finishing 87 up plus 11. This guy is OP. This guy is just OP. I want to go somewhere here. Um, Denmark? Norway? I think I want to try to get um, a second Slatan Ibrahimovic. So I will go for half a year to Sweden. We just had six days from Sunday to Saturday. Six days to rest. Augsburg. Okay, we saw it's actually Augsburg. Not Leverkusen. Wow, that's interesting. And even though we had almost a week to rest, stamina slow. So I'm not 100% sure. And the game is not important because um, Dortmund won. Okay. Uh, Freiburg is just extremely bad, second last, they, they kinda still have a chance to not get relegated if, we win, if they win all the remaining games, but that's not happening, so I'm thinking about, I don't want to top points, I have a week to rest, but this squad is low in stamina, I will, I think, still use the first choice squad and not the second, so first choice squad against Freiburg, last game of today's episode, another away game, so many away games, they won against Leverkusen and Darmstadt, so they're actually trying. So, five games before the end, the situation was basically they had five wins. The first two of them, and they won both, in including came against Leverkusen. So they are really trying. Gladbach winning against Augsburg, we are winning, Colin Planka is just amazing. Darmstadt will lose, so this is it for Darmstadt. Klein for Sam, interesting, Colin Planka with another one. Out for Colin, uh, for Schubert, so Colin Planka really wants to bet, uh, become the best goal scorer. Bayern is uh, just destroying Darmstadt. Köln won, okay, that's not interesting. So I think that uh, that Gladbach dropped points. We got the win. Kuni Planka with another two point uh, goal. Uh, okay, damn it, man. Two goals. We got three more points. And we are up to third place, three points behind Dortmund. Because Leverkusen hasn't played yet. Boss, I'm going to turn down that contract extension you offered. I appreciate it, but I need to change my career. And he wants to move on. Well, he just asked me for a new contract. And then he declines it. Again, does make sense. I will definitely not leave, uh, let him go. Well, guys, this is it. Two games in the league to go. And one cup game to go. As you can see, uh, it's, it's uh, Bayern won the league. It's done now, Bayern won the league. Definitely we will finish in top four. We are three points behind Dortmund. If they lose a game, we win. We are third, uh, second. We are in front of Leverkusen. But two games remaining against Hamburg and Ingolstadt, po uh, both games we should be able to win. So it's 100% sure that Conny Blanca, or 98% sure that Conny Blanca will be the top goal scorer. The thing is, can Embolo get the second place? And how many goals will Conny uh, Blanca have at the end? Guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. In the next episode, I told you we play against Hamburg and probably against Ingolstadt as well. I'm not 100% sure though. I hope you enjoyed um, this episode. If so, please smash the like button if you're new to this channel and enjoy my content. Don't forget to subscribe. Yeah, until tomorrow, have an amazing day, guys, and bye.